It started with my father. He had a Audi S4, the B5, I think. He had that one and he ship trimmed it and stuff like that. So he made it go fast. And that's how I got into cars. Uh, my uncle, he was uh, Sweden's greatest bodywork uh, at Porsche. So he had a big garage uh, and a lot of Porsches. So we went there a few times and uh, that's how I got into cars basically on an early level. And then I turned 18. I bought my first car, I did some few modifications, uh, like lowered it and such. But the real interest started when I bought this car actually. It was already low uh, on BBS style 5s. Oh, not so low, but ish low. And I just started doing shit to the car. It's my first BMW actually. What made you go for the E36? I just liked the car. I didn't like the E46 or the E30. The E36 was more appealing. What are the mods on the performance side of the car? Uh, the car stock is uh, 170 horsepower, but I got an engine failure like two months after I bought the car. So the engine was kaput. <laughs> okay. So I switched the engine, I got a hold of a cheap one, a 320 uh, engine. So that's like 150 horsepower stock, but I switched the intake and the exhausts and um, the injectors and everything to 323. So the output, I don't know, but it, um, it runs better than it did before. What's the first thing you get asked about when someone sees your car for the first time? Uh, the wing <laughs> and the exhaust. Obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, the first thing that caught my eye when I looked at your car mm -hmm. were the wheels, actually. The wheels? Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Because I've never seen such wheels ever. Can you tell me something about uh, it? Yeah, Cosmos Racing XT206R. They are 18 inch and 9.5J ET10. It's the only set in Sweden actually with these specs. There are a few like white and such, but none in black chrome. Uh, those spikes are from Far East Factory. Originally, uh, it's bolts. Okay. But I use nuts with studs on them. They're like 150 millimeters long. I want you to explain to me because I've never really seen this before in a car. Is mm -hmm. the bodywork? The overfenders. Yeah. Uh, felony form, it's called. It's basically overfenders that you buy and you pop nothing them on. And it makes it sort of a wide body yeah. kit? Yeah. yeah, it's a wide body kit. Uh, it widens your car 45 millimeters on each side. It really adds a lot to the car. Yeah, yeah, it does. And now on to the most obvious thing on the car mm -hmm. that wing <laughs> <laughs> the wing yeah Good. actually i i stumbled across it on uh, instagram jakub tatara he's a polish drifter uh, and he has a company called Mus customs he makes body parts such as body kits and wings and everything so i stumbled across him on instagram and i saw this wing and i was like i gotta have it <laughs> it's two meters wide so Not bad. It's, yeah, it's pretty wide. <laughs> <laughs> so, was it difficult to mount? No, actually. Uh, I just made two holes in the trunk and then just mounted it. Came with hardware and everything. Tell <clears> me <throat> the best joke you've heard about your wing. Uh, must be, must be Relin Airways. Because <laughs> my nickname is Relin. Um, and Airways because of the wing. Can, can I tell you one? Yeah, sure. I think this is the best picnic table for Snow White and the <laughs> Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> I'm into a Japanese style called Shakotan, Shakotan drifting, etc. Basically drift as low as you can. In this Shakotan genre, it's commonly used to use long tips 
for the exhaust. And the inner part of the exhaust, I'm guessing that's modifying because I've heard you a long way. Yeah, uh, it's a straight pipe. <laughs> Obviously. <Yeah. laughs> Tell me about your plans with the car, since it's basically its last weekend this yeah, year. Yeah, it's the last weekend before it's put to sleep. I'm gonna repaint the whole car, thinking of black rose as a color. It's a deep red awesome. with a lot of depth in it. New wheels, Workmeister L1 with some crazy specs. Of course, a lot of camber is coming in. So it's gonna be a little higher in the back, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and a bacon kit, it's actually called. It's a body kit from Musk Customs as well. Makes the car look like an S13 Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, so that's the plans basically that I can think of. Uh, Said something about the V8? Uh, yeah, but that's next winter. So it's gonna be a Lexus V8 actually, a one you said. And how are you planning to mount that? It's not that big actually, it's lighter than an M50. I mean, do you need some special yeah. mounts inside? Yeah, the... custom mounts and uh, custom like adapter plates for the gearbox. And do you plan to do some of the work yourself? Yeah, everything. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> so basically what, what we've done here, we've, we've filmed the car that's mm -hmm not going to be recognizable next season, right? We have to do yeah. a new video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'm glad I I filmed it in this pack because I think it looks really good. Yeah. <laughs>